In this video, I'm going to talk about what's changed since I got my Apple Vision Pro five months ago. I've been using it almost every single day for five months. There's been some pros, there's been some cons, and I've left previous reviews about different aspects of it. And in this video, I'm going to give an honest review of what's changed, what's different, what I love and what I don't love. So with that being said, let's jump right in. This intro intentionally left blank. Okay, so in no particular order, here is number one. And that is, I love the productivity on it. Admittedly, this is one of the things that I was skeptical about. And my biggest issue was, okay, what's so different about working on the Apple Vision Pro on a bigger window compared to a desktop? And I have to say, now that I've used it and I've worked with it a ton in the past five months, I have to say that I love working on it. And honestly, when I first got it, I'd say my top uses were for entertainment, were for watching movies, were for watching TV shows. And now that's almost flipped where I still watch movies and TV shows on it, but not as much as I used to. And now I've definitely integrated it into my everyday life where I use it, you know, as much or more than my computer, my desktop, my MacBook Air. And what I love about it is that with productivity, honestly, the fact that you have to basically strap a computer to your head and you turn on the environment and it's not like your phone that you can just glance at and it's not like your laptop where it's just there and you can get up and do whatever you want. So because of this, the environment and because you have to put it on and it's a commitment to work on it, I mean, you just basically sit down, you focus, you get your work done. And so it's actually been very productive in that category. And that has been one of the unexpected surprises is that productivity is actually great on it. I highly recommend it right off the bat. On paper, it seems like it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but also with the recent software updates, it's made things even better. Okay, so number two has to do with the Vision OS updates. And this is really related to Vision OS 1.2. And I have to say that I'm actually on the beta update. So currently I'm running Vision OS 2.0, but I noticed this as early as the 1.2 beta update. And that is that the eye tracking has gotten way better. In one of my previous reviews, one of my criticisms about honestly productivity as a whole um, was that the eye tracking just was not great that you know you would look at text you would look at small text you would try to fix a typo and you would you know look at a specific word and it would pick a word two or three lines under it and it was just like a pain to fix very tiny things on the screen whether it's a tiny button on youtube like the play and pause button or whatever it might be and with 1.2 that got way better and with 2.0 i think it got way better and now it's to the point where when i do work with productivity i can have the keyboard and only the keyboard and I can try to fix a typo, look at a specific character and it'll pick that character and then I can easily make adjustment. So that alone has taken it from something where productivity was not that great just because you absolutely needed a keyboard and mouse to all of a sudden, even though I do use a keyboard and mouse, if I'm only using the Apple Vision Pro on its own, it's actually very functional to be able to use websites where they have tiny buttons, tiny things that you can select. Or if I am typing, you really only need the keyboard. You can type and you can highlight, edit, and do a lot of things that you couldn't do before Vision OS 1.2. Okay, and number four, speaking of my MacBook Air and Mac Virtual Display, I have to say this, and this goes for some of you that might have older computers, when I got my Vision Pro, I had a M1 MacBook Pro, and I noticed that I was never that happy with Mac Virtual Display, and I noticed a huge improvement when I got my newer M2 MacBook Air. I noticed that, you know, almost overnight, it was much faster, much smoother, the text was much more crisp. So that's something that's totally changed everything for me, which is getting a newer MacBook Air because it's made Mac Virtual Display way better and much smoother to work with. Okay, so number five, this is another surprise that actually might surprise a lot of you, and that is dealing with spatial photos and spatial videos. It's funny what happens when you first get something and when you start using it and when you integrate it into your life and into your typical workflow. Of course, like every other Vision Pro owner, when I first got it, I would take the spatial photos, spatial videos. I thought it was awesome, it was cool. 
but then it kind of dropped off a little bit and it was had a little bit of that just gimmicky factor thing to it but the longer i've owned it and now that i'm actually going back five months three months you know to look at old videos and old photos especially a family i'm seeing how awesome and how amazing this really is you know even something that's just three or four months old and so since then I've realized kind of the power that these things have and I've started taking much more video, like a ton more spatial photos. And so that was a big surprise. I initially thought they were kind of gimmicky and I thought I would never do it, but as more and more time passes, I kind of see the value in taking spatial videos and spatial photos. Okay, so number six is a very quick and short one. And that's basically, again, the more you own it, the more you move from using it in a typical you know, real world computer layout. Whereas when I first got it, you know, I would place my windows like one here, one here, one here, very much the same way that I would probably place my monitors on a desk. Since then, I've noticed that I've been kind of positioning my windows in a way that I would never position monitors in the real world. And one of my go-to layouts is to take, you know, if I'm, you know, browsing through Safari, doing research, doing things like that, I will put my Safari window directly in front of me and then I will put my notes app down low, which if you think about in kind of a real world sense, it would be kind of placing my notes on the floor. And so I have these two windows in front of me where I can easily browse through Safari and take notes right there rather than having one here and one here. And so really I've been experimenting more with layouts like that that are much more efficient and that really take advantage of kind of spatial computing and being in this spatial environment. Okay, and so now a few cons, um, now that I've sort of said a couple sort of positive things about it, and the things that, where I think it definitely needs improving and some of the things that I don't like about it so far are as might sound like a broken record if you've seen a lot of Vision Pro videos. And that is one of the things, some of, one of the things that's getting to the point of being annoying is the lack of apps or don't listen to the numbers Apple spits out that there's a million apps or a hundred thousand apps out there now. 99% of those apps are complete and total crap. They're, you know, the $25 calculators. They're these apps that are completely pointless. They cost money or they're subscription based. They, they do something that you could easily do yourself in five seconds, you know, on your phone or on your computer but they charge you for it and it's just like a clunky, horrible app. That's what's missing is better, high quality Vision Pro immersive apps. And that just simply is not there. And along with that immersive content, immersive video content to really take advantage of the Vision Pro's capabilities. You know, once you've used it for a while, I mean, you start feeling like you're using just a tiny percentage of this device's capability and it's all because of the software and the apps and how sort of slow things are you know being released which you could make the argument that you know in a lot of ways they've actually been moving pretty quick in the sense that in five months they're already on vision os 2.0 but just being excited about the product you want things to kind of move a little bit faster and you also you know sometimes I have to remind myself well it's only been five months since this thing was released. And if I think back to when the first iPhone came out, it was very much the same thing. It was awesome, it was great. It had so many revolutionary things about it, but that's when we were still doing like the beer app where it just you just tilted the phone and you pretend like you were drinking beer and it had the same kind of, kind of useless apps, very basic apps and it had a billion apps, but most of them were just like not very useful. And the last thing I'll say about it is the rumors um, about, or it's almost more than a rumor at this point, that Apple has totally halted any work on the newer Vision Pro 2 to put all of their efforts into a lighter, smaller, $1,500, more consumer friendly, you know, Vision Pro Air or whatever you want to call it. I personally am all for this because I think one of the biggest cons about it is that you know not that many people have it and most vision pro users don't know anyone else who owns one and i think one of the key things that's missing and that will probably also help accelerate app development and everything just moving much faster is getting it into the hands of your just typical consumer just like the first iphone once it was being adopted by everyone 
I think that's where you start seeing all the really great apps being developed and, and I think things will really start changing then. Okay, so that's it. Those are my thoughts after five months of owning this. Now we'll see where things go now that it's being rolled out to other parts of the world besides just the United States. Again, this is a new channel. So like, subscribe, more videos coming and I'll see y'all later.